G'day folks, uh, welcome. I've, first of all, I'm filming with a real live cameraman. Watch, I can prove it by him waving in front of the camera or me moving around and him following me about. Um, I was asked to uh, do an example from question seven, the exercise eight E on completing the square. Question seven is the first time we've got an odd number as the coefficient of x. And just for good measure, I picked one where there was uh, a fraction there as a constant term as well. So let's have a look. Uh, the method that I explained in class is exactly the method that we follow. Half then square and subtract the square, and you do the little shimmy dance if you want as you go. So, uh, to complete the square on the x squared minus 5x, I halve the coefficient of the x. So that's going to be negative 5 on 2. Then I square, and then I subtract the square of negative 5 on 2. So negative 5 on 2 squared. Uh, and then of course I've still got that plus a half, so that's still going to stick around. So here that is. Uh, now I just need to, to neaten up what I see over here. So over here I've got uh, x minus 5 on 2 all squared. Uh, that is 25 on 4. Now, even though there's, there's two negatives, even though there's two negatives, that negative is being squared. So there's actually three negatives. Right? A negative times a negative times a negative is going to give me a negative over here, plus a half. And so that gives me x minus 5 on 2 squared. Uh, that's uh, minus 23 on 4. Uh, you can check that one on your calculator. I need to express this as a square. That's not too hard, of course, because uh, that's just going to be the square root of 23 over 2, which is the square root of 4. All squared. I've now got my difference of two squares, and then I just proceed as normal. A plus B, A minus B. A plus B times A minus B. And of course, there's a common denominator here, so I can I can uh, join these together as well. And look, the, the the greatest thing about having a real live cameraman is I don't need to clean the board for more space. I can just move, and he can just follow me. So we can uh, turn that into. Uh, well, it's just going to be uh, x minus 5 plus root 23 on 2 and x minus 5 minus root 23 on 2. Now, I've done a sneaky and I've actually swapped my brackets around um, because, look, that negative sign, that negative sign multiplies both that 5 and that uh, root 23. Right, so the, the fraction line, I've explained this in class before, the fraction line is like a grouping symbol. It's like a set of brackets around the numerator and the denominator. So that negative sign multiplies both the 5 and the, the, the root 23. Down here, the negative root 23 was in the second bracket. Okay, now the negative root 23 is sort of switching out of the first. That's just because I'm lazy and I want a more convenient way to write it. Uh, and there you go, so we've completed the square. Job done, thanks very much, hope that helps. Cheers.